The cold weather we're anticipating is leaving some homeless people searching for a place to stay warm. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne wraps up our team coverage right now with more on where those can, who need it can avoid the elements. Imani. Doug, shelter coordinators I spoke with say the cooler temperatures are already impacting the homeless, so they're doing all they can to make sure they're well taken care of overnight. Friends in Crisis Homeless Shelter on Sprout Avenue in Colleen is accepting men, women and families. They can hold close to 80 people and say they've been at capacity every night for the past week and a half. The shelter provides items like blankets, hats and gloves. They're also extending hours to allow as many people to stay for as long as possible. The Colleen Community Center's warming station is now open 24 hours. They provide cots if needed and a city spokesperson tells me they already have some guests while the Salvation Army on Avenue G and Temple plans to open their doors to those in need as we speak. Friends in Crisis Coordinator Maria Carmona says it's critical to keep the homeless in mind during winter storms. I have not experienced this kind of cold in a long time. And some of them already have been sick from being out in the elements. And so the ones that are sick, when once they go to the doctor, I keep them in the building so they can take their medication and get better. She goes on to say all guests receive extra food, coffee, hot chocolate, and whatever else they may need to make it through the storms. For a list of warming centers in the area and their hours of operation, visit our website. That's KCENTV.com, Doug. All right, Imani, thank you very much. And of course, to stay up to date with the latest weather developments, traffic, and all that much more in Andy Anderson's bio in our Channel 6 mobile app. You can visit our website also at kcentv.com. There we have information about school delays and closures. Also watch Texas Today starting at 430 for weather coverage and updates there.